check, check, QP, OG Husky Radio. <laughs> okay. L- long overdue, man. We've been trying to catch your ass, man. Hey, What's man. good? Hey, we out here, man. <laughs> what else? What we got on the ones and twos, man? DJ Top Rank, you already know, <laughs> man. What else? What's good, man? Introduce yourself for those that don't know. QP, the real QP of SONS, shitting on niggas squad. You know what I'm saying? We out here the jungle, grind time, OG Husky Radio. I mean, anything, anything you can think of. Where are you originally from, man? I'm originally from San Jose, but I was raised in Stockton, so you know what I'm saying? I read both of them. We, we got a lot to talk about today now that we finally got you here. Let's go. That they don't know how long you've been emceeing for, man. Uh, I've been doing the battle rap shit on this scene for about two and a half years now. Two and, and a half man. years? Yeah. How did you blow up so quick within those two and a half years and able to be on the forefront of, of this battle rap scene? I got to give a lot of credit to my nigga Jay Fox, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jay Fox was the dude that hit me when I was plumbing, you know what I'm saying, six days a week in the union, going to class, like, get out here, man, we battling, it's, it's like eight of us out here. And I'm like, bro, fly a kite, I'm not coming out there. And he just pressed me every week until I finally came, and when y'all seen me battle Tiger Ty, that was my introduction to the jungle. Word up. OGHuskyRadio.com. Give him a contact. I know everybody be following you on Twitter, knowing... The hey. life that is QP, hey, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I keep it as realistic as possible. You feel me? It's at QPSONS on Twitter. And the same shit for YouTube. You feel me? And it's Syrup League all day with me. WBZ Syrup League. Talk to me. Okay, ne- we got to get into that because yeah. Syrup League Talk just came out of nowhere with one of like the biggest events in battle hey. history and shit. And I even asked, who is Syrup League and how, how the hell they pull this shit off? And then it comes, a, you're part of that. So where's the Syrup League from? If y'all missed the pros versus Joes at Deja Vu, All right. some historical shit went down there. All um, right. But yeah, get, a, get us, let us know about the Syrup League, man. The Syrup League, you know what I'm saying, is powered by Williams Boys Entertainment. You feel me? All my Williams niggas, but mainly my nigga Big Boy Williams. He single-handedly put this together. We came together about six weeks ago, and he said, I want to start a league that's going to take the world over. So we came up with the pros versus Joe's idea. Yeah. And what's different from the Syrup League from uh, every other league that's been out here running around? doing what you're doing the syrup league is fully financed by williams boys ent so basically he makes a list of the names that that he wants to come battle i call those fools they tell me what they want we pay them that and they come out in battle you know what i'm saying like this this man is changing the game literally for from battle rap to shit that you may want to see to stuff you really want to see you know what i'm saying so so how, how'd you get involved or how did that link come about? Because you're definitely pushing the business side of this battle shit yeah. from where, you know what I'm saying, drive up, you know what I'm saying, from the days where it's like $10 and then you leave with 20 I mean, you flying yeah. cats in, yeah. doing shit on that level. How did that link come about for you, man? Uh, you know what I'm saying? I had a conversation with my mans, and he really wanted to to put this league together and stick with it. You know what I'm saying? Through the through the thick, through the ups and downs, the thick and thin, all of this shit. So he inv- he invested about 5,500 in this last event. You know what I'm saying? We made 2,300 off the door. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So we took a bit of a loss, but this is what we in it for. We in it to build a brand, and this brand, when you see it, is Serb, it's Purple, it's Williams Boys, it's WBZ, it's QPZ, rocking that breezy, it's everything that sound like an easy, it's what QPZ, you feel me? We out here, man. So, top Breeze, DJ, <laughs> so DJ we, Top Breezy. We, <laughs> what else? Are we going to get uh, QPZ to battle in the Syrup League, or are you just an organizer? Uh, yeah, 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 most def. At, the, at this last Pros vs. Joes, I battled Mac Molly. Shout out to Mac Molly. You know what I'm saying? He came way out from Vallejo and did his fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my dude. But yeah, I most definitely will battle every time there's a Serb League event. And from here on out, it's only main event fees. So I was thinking the guy that's stealing my name, QP, I uh-huh. was thinking that we fly him out since he's never so been you paid. So you're going to fly in the guy that's stealing your name? We're going to fly the guy who's never been paid to battle rap and pay, <laughs> and pay him 500 to come battle me for my name because we don't want him running around here. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah. battling for free right now. So okay. we're going to pay him a little bit so he come battle. Yeah. And, and does he have to retire and shit? Is that in the stipulation? The, the or? stipulation is his dad named him QP, so it means a lot more to him. Oh, okay. I worked with a dude at Moe's Burrito that named me QP. He just kept mm-hmm. calling me. I was like, bro, my name is Q. He's like, yeah. all right, QP. So I just rocked with it. You feel me? So it yeah. means a lot more to him, but I'm still going to take it from him. <laughs> what else? <laughs> what else, man? All right, man. You've been involved in a lot of battles. Just put out some of the names. 
that you could think of offhand that you battled? I uh, I battled Soul Con. We did a million views. I battled Disaster. Y'all might be familiar with that guy. We did 200,000 views. Uh, I battled 24-7, who's less known, but yeah. we did 100,000 views out there. You know what I'm saying? Who else did I battle? I mean, any and everybody. You could probably... The Cadillac Ron I battled. Uh... Well, you battled Cadillac, like, I think, the same day, right? Yeah, I battled Cadillac like, yeah. Ron and Disaster and A.B. Hoggish, my baby mama's brother, all the same day. You know what I'm saying? And it was uh, a why, why the same day? Are you uh, freestyling these rhymes? Are you not? Nah, well, I mean, to a certain degree, yes, but but these are mostly, you feel me, pre-written caskets. You know what I'm saying? I want to make sure that the premeditated murder that I have for you is something that, you know what I'm saying, your family will want to watch. And even my <laughs> yeah. family will want You know what I'm saying? And that's what I hope that people So it's like an entertainment me. value, pretty much, Definitely. right? That, it's that's very, what you're pushing very for. entertaining. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to battle somebody who doesn't want to battle me. That okay. Is, you know what I'm saying? With that, are there any battles that you lost that you know you won every single like, no you know i can't say that i'm not uh, gonna no, say well, that that's uh, why, yeah. you know what i'm saying the only one the, the soul con battle you know what i'm saying we did a million views and and the, and the jewish media didn't like what i did with that and i didn't try to be racist like that i just yeah. did the bar for bar that i that i just ah, you know what i'm saying but but performance wise he got me because he, he tended to the crowd so that's my only one that i'd be like let me get that one back and let me tend to the crowd excuse me baby. yeah you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I forgot about Chronic Plague. He's so washed up. Man. You know what I'm saying? That's son, son, <laughs> son of a beach. Name, son of a name. beach. Yeah. yeah, I shall not. I shall not. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's do it, man. Uh, I've seen you battle live plenty of time. Uh -huh. The bars live, I think, go way over people's head. Then when you go back and you watch it on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? You're able to catch it just because of of the dick riding homies that are oh shit yeah. oh, and you can't really hear the you know what I'm saying what you're spitting exactly. so much, but. Do you ever think like you have to dumb it down for the win? You know what I'm saying? For the crowd? Oh, yeah. If I want to get more wins and then hands down wins, yeah, I got to dumb it down. Will, will I dumb it down at this point? I cannot do that. I tried to do it. Yeah. Like I was like, I I'll put the can to your mouth like you're drinking a pop. And I was like, no, that's too simple. I don't <laughs> want to put the can to his mouth like you're drinking a pop. I'd rather squeeze the weapon like a yeast infection. Why? He'll stink in a box. Like I'd rather do shit like that to where yeah. you got to think about it. Like as opposed to just it is what it is so you know see right now they ain't everybody's trying to like comprehend that shit in their head like now they got it you know <laughs> what i mean that, that's a qp battle you know what i'm saying but with that top rank you can't have an mc like this and not you know what i'm saying yeah let me put this up right here bring that shit in what up, are we gonna cipher something oh, of course you already know that OJ, OG, OG huskyradio.com qp I'm feeling sons so live now god damn i'm a maggot that grew up. Why? I feel so fly now. I'm so high, I need to lie down. So many bitches asking questions. I'm like, why now? Wise clowns. <laughs> Never heard of that before. Same shit. I'm cooking Mickey D's burger sacks and roll. I am that nigga. Catch me. QPZ. SO. And that's I'm that nigga. And I swear to God, we the best. And if you niggas stress on that weed that I'm smoking, it's the same shit. We get them open. Walmart flow is 24 plus I got many more tennis shoes bring it back I could get any hoe finny hoes F the clothes F up on my chest too S O N S we the best crew I'm step two us unless you want to be handicapped and don't be that nigga trying to stab me just hand me daps and that's the time of shit that'll get your whole family black I'm that nigga who can sing good get a Grammy that's crazy when you rap, rap like this boy OGHuskyRadio.com QP Sons what else? What else, what else? Who, who do you want to battle that you haven't battled yet? I want to battle that fraud that's got my name in his mouth. Yeah. My name that he's wearing. I mean, I'm staining it out. It's whatever I did. Knocking, I came to his house. And then I got his girlfriend and I came on her blouse. Chest out. They said she was a MILF too. It's whatever. My flow, smoother than soup. You see what I'm doing? I swear to God, it's a drill too. I'm Mr. Happy Milk. QP getting the mills too. Why do you get so many views? Because I still do. <laughs> I grow old like mildew. Listen, it's replay value to get the 100 thou. <laughs> Not many niggas want it now. Okay, even squares got to come around. Listen, mathematicians got my number now. Fuck. It was mathematicians I dropped the syllable. But if you still think about it, I still got a killer flow. And how real is this? I'll pull a realest hoe. Bring it back, bananas, monkey, gorilla flows. OGHuskyRadio.com. We could be here all motherfucking day. 
early. Hey, man, so you stood in L.A. a couple more days than planned, man. Any as whatever you want to touch yeah, on that. Yeah, I know if, you, if, you know walking saying? around with a limp. As much as you want to speak on the situation, just realize this is recorded. And we just did the Occupy LA benefit, so you know motherfuckers are watching us. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. We just did that on Sunday. So um, as much as you want to speak on the situation, on how we're from an unfort unfortunate incident, we're able to do this interview today. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <clears throat> I was on point at the event, and I was on point after the event. Now, on point, you got to let people know what on point is, because we're thinking you're rhyming, Nick, but... People on Facebook, I had got poked, right? And then yeah. this is during the event, and after the event, I got po poked on Facebook. Then I got poked like in real in, in real people time. Okay, f listen, I didn't know if somebody pulled a knife, I would be laid out. Damn. Pulled a knife, be laid, put it together, blade, blade out, be laid out, whatever. But yeah. what happened? Long story short, you feel me? I got crazy with with somebody. I don't even want to speak on it because it's like, you feel me? It got real, real fast. You know what I'm saying? I fought a dude, dipped him on his neck one-on-one. -on -one. It was a one-on-one -on -one fade, long story short. And then yeah. next thing I know, it was people everywhere. And you feel me? You feel me? Uh, shit got crazy, man. And I meddled around too long. And, and what happened was, you feel me? I had slipped up. You feel me? And yeah. it got crazy. So I ended up in the hospital. You feel me? I was there for four days. You feel me? Because it's serious. I just like to joke because it's like I'm still here. So God want me here. So like this to me. It's, it's nothing, you feel me? So we at the hospital cracking jokes. We putting hospital bars on there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we tweeting the whole time, letting everybody know that it's good. And we here at this interview because it's, it's good. And we're going to be out here still because, you know what I'm saying, it's good. What so else? How, how, long, how much longer are you going to be in L.A. for? I'm going to be in L.A. probably for another 24 to 48 hours, depending on if the website gets done in okay. time, you know what I'm saying? And depending on... Uh, if our uh, logo gets patented in time so we can put these videos up, you know what I'm saying, and release the rest of the pros versus Joe's. So. Well, one got released already today, though, right? Yeah, that, one, that one's released mostly grind time because we wanted people to come in like, hey, everybody come here, come here. It's grind time, it's grind time. And surprise, it's not grind time. It's WBZ Serb League. So oh, so it's not, it's, it's totally different. That battle then. was 100. We paid disaster. I hit disaster like, yo, Diz, what's good, man? I need you to come out and battle for me. One round versus a Joe. Joe's a guy with that's up and coming dope bars. There's no hundred thousand view battles. He said, Q, I'm in Holland. I don't know if I could do that. I was just like, dog, I'll give you fifteen hundred. Yeah. He accepted immediately. You know what of I'm course. saying? He accepted yeah. immediately and he did his thing. So he came out here and 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 grind time letting us advertise and grind time rocking with us so heavy. We gave grind time that battle. But that's a Serb League battle, so we're gonna we're gonna re-upload a premium edition with three camera angles on the oh, Serb shit. League page. You feel me? So we doing some special shit, Serb. So so did shit. so did the whole battle go up then? Uh, yeah, the uh, the whole battle is just a one round, one round unlimited. Uh, Mega Death spit for seven minutes and Disaster spit for eight minutes. You feel me? Okay. Fifteen minute battle. It's the same. Is that a bitch? And I was there. <laughs> 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 Man, I was, I was like right in the front. Next thing I know, like I was in the back. There's so many motherfucking people there. Yeah. I gotta ask you too, man. Um, these events are getting bigger and bigger and I know try to stay true to the no microphone but is that gonna have to change or how are we gonna work that out man? yeah it, it's gonna change and we're gonna lapel it up like the lapel is the best thing you know since the sliced bread for battle rap and yeah. it's like the microphone is cool if you got like performers like I'm not a performer so when I hold the mic it's not a good look for me either you know okay. what I'm saying I battle Kid Caustic in front of like 1500 people at that Rock the Bells yeah. and that mic that was a casket for the kid, you know what I'm saying? They heard me, but they didn't hear me. They didn't feel the same dude that was a cappella. So the lapel mic is the best thing and the closest to a good solution with a good sound system. Okay, you know so that's that's the next level type shit. Yeah. Like I said, we there, we, we fans like y'all, we watching these things live and on the YouTube. So you know what I'm saying? I want to thank you, though, for pushing everything to the next level, man. Already. You know what I'm saying? You already know. Syrup League. Give them the, Sir, web, the website. Is it up yet, or can you release the, the web? website? will be up in about three to four days, but I'm going to still give it to you. It's Williams Boys ENT, and that's Williams with the Z and Boys with the Z. ENT.com. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to be everything Syrup. In the meantime, you could click the QP Sons logo on YouTube, and that's the Syrup page temporarily until we get the full website up. And a direct contact for yourself or people. Actually, just a direct contact, and then I'll get the next question. All right. Direct contact. You can hit me up anytime. You feel me? I'm going to give everybody the direct line. It's 209 481 
5533. That's direct line to QP, you feel me? I know I'm going to get a lot of beef calls, but I'm going to go ahead and forward those to the business too, you feel me? Because we'll get down to it later, you feel me? So. How about one last question, man? I'll let you go, man. I thank you for I'm your here, time, man. What's man. good, man? I, man? I rock with you. With, uh, are you looking for acts or how are you picking MCs? I know you just did the pros versus shows. And for those that don't know, what the event we're talking about went down at Deja Vu Strip Club in downtown LA. Huge venue, probably one of the biggest venues in LA. I mean, full stage. Um, of course, strippers walking around in the middle of the battles. Yeah. Um, you had full access to the strip club yeah. with your purchase, with your entry. Mm-hmm. Um, and the pros pretty much established artists going against Joes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Up and coming artists who don't have as many hits. So, did you pick the Joes too, or did they already have? You already had them lined up, like. For the cats that aren't on that level, they want to get at Disaster, they want to get at QP, they want... I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, people that aren't into this battle scene, pretty much, and I hate to say this, if you got cheese, you could battle, like, the motherfucker, you you could get paid to get murdered, like, and you'll get a million hits and shit. Yes, sir. And you're the one getting murdered, but, but like, you know what I'm saying? How are you picking the acts and how does that come about? Well, how I went about doing this, I went on rapmusic.com and I, I did an open bid call out to anybody that wants to battle a pro. And I put a list. I hit all my boys. I hit Awkwards. I hit Disaster. I hit Daylight. I hit Fox. I hit Heartless. I hit Bricks. I hit all these fools. This is who was originally on the list. And uh, they all accepted it because I told them I was going to give them whatever their little demands was. Just battle these Joes right here. And I'm going to come yeah. back with a list of names. Highest bidder gets to battle the, the pro. So, you know what I'm saying? Megadeth was the highest bidder. Mac Moley was the highest bidder. You know what I'm saying? Revenon was the highest bidder. You know what I'm saying? And so and so on and so forth. So the highest bidder was the one that got to battle the pro. So it worked out good for everybody. Can we expect upsets? Uh, I, I mean, you, I, I wouldn't say that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But this is my thing. There was a lot of dick riding for the pros. Yeah. But it's like... That's some that's, real shit, though, man. This is a, the organizer talking about... The, the, the headliners are getting... You know, so it's saying? like, all you had to do is just go ahead and run that footage back twice and then just think about it as if it wasn't Disaster or QP or whoever else that you may know and the other guy you don't know and just give it an open ear because, you know, even my battle with Mac Moley, he didn't stumble up at all, really, you know what I'm saying? And it took him a while to to uh, get up to his hype or to go with his rhymes just because it's like, okay, it's QP, so we're probably just going to sit on his lo- uh, sit on his bars, you know what I'm saying? Because just out of respect for this guy, but over time, you build it up, and Mac Moley did his thing. The same thing with Megadeth, so, so I respect those cats. You know? so, so, damn, I'll keep you here all fucking night, hey, I'm man. I'm right here, man. Judging them, what can we do or, or as people that watch that, what's a fair way to judge these battles in? You judge these battles here creativity always number one because creativity is, is what's going to make you want to log on YouTube with the million of people out there and say I want to watch this guy over this guy you know what I'm saying especially after your battle drops because that's how you get 100,000 people have to go back and watch it again whether it's a good reason or a bad reason they have to go back and watch it so I always try to give them a good reason I think I'm more infamous than famous and I like that lane same yeah. thing with Fox he's definitely more infamous than famous Con- conceited and heartless are more famous than infamous it's like you know what I'm saying they're known for more wholesome good things me and Fox are known for more like drama crazy but i'm like give me the reality show then you feel me because we most definitely are out here any topic you won't talk about your opponent just totally off limits yeah uh most deaf you know what i'm saying my thing is if, if somebody hit me and let me know what it is it's good you know what i'm saying usually times when i'm when i battle cats like authentic piff or i'm a battle of mage the great like these cats are in my group any window so if I'm flying to Maryland or I come down to L.A. to battle these cats, I'm not going to talk about nothing personal because these are my guys. You feel me? We're going to IHOP after this. And a lot yeah. of them cats you see screaming at each other, I'm going to kill your arsenal and, and operas, and then they're on a the track together the next day. So it's just like, to <laughs> me, to me, certain shit shouldn't be touched, especially if you're going to kick it with the motherfucker afterwards. So that's my, that's how I get it in, but... A lot of people don't you know, feel that way. They feel get crazy by any means necessary. So. Real spit. OG Husky Radio.com. QP in the spot. Thank Sir. you, brother. Syrup Lee. Give him the website one more time. WilliamsBoysENT.com. YouTube.com backslash QPSONS. And that's Syrup Extravaganza. We out here. And uh, Lindsay, talk to him. It's me, Lindsay, coming out, trying to battle rap, trying to get with QP. What else? Get on this level. What, what else? else? Coming for you, Margie Love. What else? Stockton, Syrup, Leech. I mean, my bad. <laughs> no, can't cuss. I'm trying to get famous. All right. <laughs> All right. OGHuskyRadio.com. And shout out to Peach, too, man.